So a little bit about the history of Raku. Raku is uh, from the 16th century, about 1590s. Now the, the pottery is not like we think of pottery, which is, you know, waterproof and everything else. This was meant to be, you know, quickly filled with tea, chug the tea, smash the cup or something like that. What we're doing here is what we call post-firing reduction, where we're going to take these pots out when the glaze is, is molten. We're going to put them into these barrels with combustible material, and we're going to give those oxides a slug of carbon monoxide because we're now burning fuel. Now, carbon monoxide is bad for us because it takes oxygen out of our red blood cells and we asphyxiate, basically. But for glazes, it's great because now you're, you're stealing oxygen from those metal oxides that are the colorants, turning them back closer to the original metal from which they came. Uh, if you go the whole, the whole way, you could turn iron oxide to iron. And that's why they use copper, because copper is a, a low melting metal. And depending on where you freeze that reaction, you can get metallic greens, blues, golds, purples, all the way to copper metal, if you go the, the whole way. And that's why everybody loves the high copper.